Hi, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to solve a code words a problem which is defined the next perfect square. This is a very beginner friendly problem. So let's uh, begin. So first of all, what I will do, I will read the instructions of the problem which will say you might know some pretty large perfect squares, but what about the next one? Complete the find next square method that finds the next integral perfect square after the one passed as a parameter. Recall that an integral perfect square is an integer n such that square root n is also an integer. If the parameter, uh, parameter is itself not a perfect square then minus 1 should be returned. You may assume the parameter is not negative. So what we want to do is we will pass some number as an argument to this function. So when we will receive a parameter from this function what we want to do is we want to create a function which will check if the number is a perfect square then we want to find the next perfect square after this number otherwise if the number is not perfect square we want to return a minus one from the function so for to solve this uh, problem i will use an if else statement so in the if statement what i want to do is i will use math dot square root and I want to check it if it is a perfect square or not. So for this in the square root I will pass this number and then I will use this module sign and and then check if it is equal to 0 or not. So what this line will do is it will if, so let's say so let's suppose if the number is 144 which is a perfect square of 12 so it will check if we divide it by itself will it return 0 so for example so it will check if it, this line will check if it is a perfect square or not consider uh, consider it like that so so if the number is a perfect square what we want to do is first of all let's create two variables which will contain the number and it will also contain the next number so first of all create a variable num it will create the current number and the next num will contain the number that we want to find a perfect square of so in the num variable i want to store this perfect square so let's store it here so it will be a perfect square i will store it here and then what I will do, I will find the next term which is quite easy. I will increment it by 1 or add 1 to it. So what this if statement is saying that if the number is a perfect square, we want, we will store this number in a, a variable and then we will find the next number by adding 1 to it. Else, now we will run the else statement. So the else statement is going to be otherwise we will return minus 1 so from the function what we want to return is we want to return a perfect square so let's suppose if we have passed 144 from it this will check if the number is a perfect square or not so math as square root will convert it to into n12 which is because 12 multiplied by 12 is 144 so when we add 1 to it we will get 13 so we want a perfect square of 13 so let's uh, create a square of it or we can say perfect square which is multiplying it by itself Oops. next num so it will uh, convert this into a square so when we will uh, pass any argument it will check in the if statement if it is a perfect square then we will run this statement else we will return minus one so let's test this code now you will see our test has passed all of the test cases or our code has passed all of the test cases and we have completely solved this problem so if you see you have learned something new don't forget to like and the video subscribe to this channel and also comment in the video so this is the end of the tutorial i hope you have enjoyed something and learned something new from this video so have a nice day this is the end of this tutorial